This is the Pixar. Um, this is the 15 inch Wi Fi Photo Connect frame. Um, and this is what the box looks like. Comes with the quick start guide and then um, the user guide. Okay, so um, it comes with the remote control um, and batteries. And then in this little slot is the antenna that goes on the frame. Okay, sorry, this is not <laughs> the antenna. Looked like an antenna to me. Um, this is the stand, so it holds the frame up. And then also on the back of the frame, there is a um, thing for mounting it on the wall. So um, I have not, uh, it doesn't come with that. That's uh, separate but you can use that if you want to. Okay, so on the back of it, it has, um, that's where the power cord goes. And then um, it has an extra slot for an extra SD card, the on and off switch, and a um, USB port and headphones, a headphone jack. Okay, so um, there's an on and off switch on the back of it, so you turn it on. And then um, these buttons right here um, are to um, your menu button, your OK button, your replay button, and then your up, down, left, right button. So we'll see how it works. Okay, and this is what pops up the very first thing. So we're going to pick English. And you just hit the OK button on the remote. Um, energy saving mode, uh, everyday auto power on at, how long, everyday auto power off, auto restart, and brightness. So we're going to see how each of these set up. Okay, then it's going to come up and say join networks. And then you're going to click on the network that you want. So you're going to go down to whatever network you want. And then you're going to um, click it. And then you're going to put your Wi-Fi password in. And um, you're going to hit OK. This um, remote, I will tell you, you have to aim it kind of to the right of the... See, if I aim it over here, it doesn't change. But if you aim it over here... It does, so the sensor must be on the right side of the frame. So if you have a hard time with the remote, um, that's what you wanna do is make sure you aim it to the right side of the frame. So um, we pick this one and um, I already set it up, so. Okay, <clears throat> so the next thing you wanna do is you want to go on your computer and you're gonna open your web browser and you're gonna to go to www pick slash or hyphen star dot com and then you're going to register a new frame and you're going to choose an email address for your frame so we're going to do that right now okay so this is what the website looks at and you're going to bring it up and um, then you're going to click at the top where it says register a new pick star and then um, it's already going to have the app pick star Thing, um, ready for you so you're gonna put in your serial number for your frame and then you're going to put in your whatever your chosen email address is and it will add the Pixstar stuff mm -hmm. to it and then fill out the rest of the information okay so once you get it registered um, at the top it's gonna say welcome and then um, it's gonna say it's whether it's on online or offline um, and um, it's going to have your inbox where you can add pictures from this site. Um, now we bought this for um, the kids' is Nan, and um, they live in a different state than us, so there we're gonna be able to send pictures of the kids and everything to them, which I thought was really cool. So you can link uh, your web albums to it, um, your Facebook, Flickr, Google+, all of that stuff to it. Um, you can uh, do your weather forecasts, and you can listen to web radio. Um, and then, um, it's got the internal memory 
and then it also has the place for the SD cards. So uh, you can do everything you need to on this home page. So when you go to your inbox, this is what it's going to look like. And you just go through it and um, you can upload from your computer. You can share different uh, things. You can transfer to the frame um, for some reason if it didn't work. And you can delete different pictures if you want to. Um, go back really quick. Um, when you go to my web albums, um, what you'll do is you'll go in here and you'll hit create a new album, make the album name, and then you'll have an album on whatever the name is of it. So just make a name up real quick. Just put the kids or something. Okay, and then you'll go to um, create album, and right here um, you drag and drop, or you can um, just pick whatever it is that you want. So like if you hit the different files, you can um, choose the files. Choose the here. file. So how do you do the Facebook? Let's. I wanted to show them how to do that. Um, What's that? Okay, so oh, that, yeah, you literally just drag. Okay, them so and drop them in here. you just drag them and drop them from there. Okay, so there's um, under web albums. It says um, right here on the side. Over here on the left side, and then there's a thing that says import exter external pictures, and you'll go on that, and then there's all of the albums that you can use. So when you log into like say Instagram or Facebook, there. Um, all your Instagram pictures would go and then you can set certain albums from your Facebook that you want to go directly onto the frame. Okay, okay so when you go to the Facebook albums, okay. you're going to click there and you're going to log in and then um, it's going to bring you to your albums and whatever your albums are named and then there's a link it um, thing so if you only want one album if you want all of them you can pick which one you want so then you'll click it which I did and then it will take you to and then you can go back to your albums go back to your albums and there's your album right there and we just did this one just so you guys could see but um, this is the Facebook album and then when you click on it um, Check it, and then it says download album up there. Where? Right up there on the right, top right here. Over more. There you go. And then that. That's for me. Oh. That downloads the album for me. Oh, whoops. No, okay. you um. How do you? You do it here by checking the album that you want, and then um, play selected album on the frame, <coughs> and then it will. And it says it will be displayed on your Pixar frame shortly. So um, you just have to kind of explore that and see how it goes. And then we're going to go back over to the frame. And we're going to see. So we're going to go to slideshow and see if our photos are on there. Okay, so the picture we downloaded um, is on the screen now, and we only have one on there, so it's got a repeat of the same picture. But once you have the screen, um, different pictures, then um, it will show different pictures on there. So uh, it works great. Um, the web album worked perfectly, and um, we're super excited, and we hope she likes it. So um, there you go.